welcome back to Tom Padula TV and to segment three of program one of uh, Italian community and club series with Tom Padula, of course, because I will be at the Federazione Lucana and uh, other clubs as well as the series develops and progresses uh, along the way of discussing issues to do with the second, third and fourth generation Italian Australians. Tom, whilst uh, English is the lingua franca of this country, I think it's important that uh, Italian is also maintained. And uh, one of the good things uh, that, that happened in the last couple of, of years is, the, is that for the first time we have a, a state bilingual school. And the state bilingual school is also based here in Brunswick. Uh, the Brunswick South Primary School has been turned in, into an Italian bilingual school. And uh, most people recently would have been there because last uh, Sunday, the 2nd of June, they, uh, they also celebrated the Italian uh, Republic Day at the Brunswick Southwest, uh, South, South Park Primary School. Now, I think that we should have had uh, a state bilingual school maybe 50, 60 years ago, 70 years ago. But as they say, it's better late, late, uh, late than never. So I think it's important to encourage the second generation and the third generation to encourage their children to learn, uh, to learn Italian uh, because it is part of our culture and if, uh, you know, if, all, if, if our Italian is not uh, learned and relearned in schools, uh, it will be a great loss uh, you know, for, for, for our communities and for our society as a whole. Similarly, the, the example that you gave, Tom, about the, the Wurundjeri people, uh, and unfortunately, in terms of uh, indigenous languages, a lot of the, the, the indigenous languages have been, have, have been lost, and that is a sad loss, not just to the indigenous community, but to the, the whole of the Australian society. So, you know, because I think that you cannot uh, maintain a culture uh, unless also you, you maintain the language. And the two are very much linked together, as you know. So I think it's a very good thing that has happened in Brunswick in the last couple of years, in, in Melbourne, not just Brunswick. The fact that we are very proud that the school happens to be in Brunswick, but uh, it's good that the state government has uh, funded and, inst and uh, instituted a, a bilingual Italian school right here in Brunswick. Tom and Joe, it's really important that point about language because when we were travelling in Eastern Europe with my girlfriend last year, they made that point to us that uh, some of the nations that had been stripped of their language, which means that their people lost their identity, which is really, you know, language is an important aspect of retaining the culture and the people. As a language teacher from the early 1970s, in fact, from the, my early University of Melbourne days, because we did come here in 1963, and within five years I enjoyed uh, being a part of Melbourne University and seeing, for example, the anti-war movement in Vietnam and being part of a, a theatre company there within the university. Now, language itself is the, is, is the driving force of all cultures. If you want to get rid of a culture, all you have to do is do what Lenin did in some parts of, uh, uh, of the old USSR, uh, say to them, do not use uh, the language, uh, you have to use this other language in writing. So in other words, if you change the script, you'll never be able to access previous writings. And that is a, a great loss to humanity as well. But that's what happens uh, generally. In the case of the Federazione Lugana, a lot of the student, a lot of the children of the people of first generation, they actually spoke a dialect uh, from the from the towns of Italy. So they did not have contact with the the rest of the Italian language. So without uh, proper schooling, proper grammar, and learning the language, you cannot learn another language without practicing it. But also being aware of how the language is structured. My presence here in this particular uh, Federazione Lucana from now on will be uh, to tackle one of these. The big issues is language. And of course, I have been senior uh, booksellers. I sell language books, but I've been doing that all my life. It's my passion. And uh, it's, uh, it's something that I uh, truly believe in. And I think 
uh, the work that we Italian teachers have done over the last 30, 40 years has been stellar work and has brought us very close to uh, the people in Italy, but also mentors to other uh, more recent arrival from all over the world. So when we had the Sydney Olympics, we had a successful, really and truly successful uh, arena for all of the world because people here spoke the language of the, of the various people who came to participate in the Olympics. Sydney was a very successful thing, but you can't rest on your laurels. Learning languages must be part of uh, our policies, whether it's from the government or the opposition, it has to be a together thing. And that's where I hope that uh, some more funding will be given to languages over the next few years. Well, thank you very much uh, to Joe Caputo and uh, Silvana Donnelly. And don't forget TomPadulaTV.com uh, on YouTube and also TomPadula.com uh, for the writing and everything else. We're back on track. See you next time. <laughs> Oh, my God.